What's going on, everyone? Jake Flynn here at the Pocket Movies, and welcome back to our show. We're going to be breaking down uh, the brand new comic book movie, Venom. We're going to be getting into the spoilers for this discussion, a full spoiler discussion breakdown on the Tom Hardy comic book movie focusing on Venom, the anti-hero from the Spider-Man universe. Now, uh, we got the full table here. We got Brian, Jacob, and Keith. Um, we're going to spend about 30 minutes kind of going into detail about this film, what we liked, what we didn't like, um, you know, things that may have interested us for a sequel, things that we absolutely hated, uh, just full on for the next 30 minutes, getting into it a little bit. Um, and there is a lot to talk about. So uh, we're going to get right into it. Uh, none of us have really talked about it um, other than Brian and I because we saw it together. Um, so I don't know Jacob's thoughts. I don't know Keith's thoughts. Um, they don't know ours. So it's going to be a pretty interesting discussion. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a round, round table style thing, kind of go around the table, each bring up a topic we're going to talk about in no particular order. So I'm going to throw it to Keith first. Um, and yeah, Keith, uh, shoot us off, man. What do you got uh, first for a topic to talk about in, uh, in Venom? All right, uh, listen, I've made no secret just amongst us in our group. <laughs> I think uh, between you and I, Jake, I mean, we're both like battling for who was least excited about this <laughs> ridiculous true. idea of a Very movie. true. <laughs> um, no one was, I, I, I wasn't, I was not going to go. Like, I wasn't going to go see this movie. <clears throat> and you did the, oh, we got to do it for the channel. Thing. I was like, oh, fine. <laughs> Sorry. God, <laughs> fine. So I bought a ticket. I couldn't believe I was buying tickets for this dumb movie. And uh, you enjoyed it, didn't <laughs> when you? I was, well, so I was leaving. So I was leaving. I got a ticket for, a, this is today's Monday. I got a ticket for a, a Friday night show. And <laughs> I was dreading it the whole time. It was 10 o'clock. I left the house at 9.55. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking out the door. I was like, all right, uh, tell my kids, all right, guys, I'll be back. They're like, Oh, where are you going? I said, I'm going to the movies. And there, my son started laughing. Like, are you going to see Venom? It's like, yes. God, this is a ridiculous movie. I can't, I don't know why. I I, I didn't hate it. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah. I, I, did, it's, uh, I didn't it, hate this movie. Did, I was I, sitting down. I was annoyed all the way. It started. And I was just watching it. I just kind of let go of it. And it just, I just, I'm just watching it. And I'm like. I think you're in the same boat as Brian wow. when he described it. He <laughs> Hey, it's, not good, it's not a it's good. It's not a good movie. Good. No, it's, it's not good. But I just. But from what he says, it was entertaining. I said it's not good, but it was entertaining. I'll. Uh, yeah, I watched y'all. Yeah. Uh, so, is there a specific topic that you may have liked about it? I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Something's wrong with me. <laughs> I really don't know. I just, you know, maybe it's just because I like I like Tom Hardy so much. Um, all criticism of it is valid. Everything you said about it, I. I agree. <laughs> uh, you know, watch watch uh, the review um, on the YouTube channel. But uh, so, would you say Tom Hardy's performance was one of your favorite parts of it? I there were some times where he was a little over the top. Uh, I thought that whole restaurant scene was silly. Um, oh, Jesus! Just, just I was watching it, going, okay, just get this over with. Just, just, that went on way too long. Uh, except when he actually got into the lobster tank. I thought that was kind of funny. But other than that, it's like, okay. This is it was so bad. bad. It was but so bad. This movie felt like, like I got into, I had vibes of uh, like early 2000s Marvel comics. Like well, Dare, that, every, Daredevil. Everyone is, is describing the movie as like a 90s action campy movie. Uh, yeah. You, yeah, I could see that. I can see that. It just it just it reminded me of like Daredevil and Elektra and like the or the, the Thomas Jane Punisher, uh, Ghost Rider. The two Ghost Rider movies that Shame we got to never compare. It was Ghost like Rider. listen. Do you I, like Ghost Rider? No. Oh, I was, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just it. You know. Well, I mean, why don't we whatever. start? Why don't we start off with Tom Hardy's performance? Tom, I mean, but yeah, Tom. Yeah, it, Tom it's Hardy, the it's kind of the leading thing of the movie. He's the I headliner. Thought he, was, I thought he was all right. You know, he you can tell he was into it. Oh, I I think yeah, he really he enjoyed really, it. Yeah, yeah, I think he really enjoyed could, playing it. Yeah, you could feel it. From Whether it worked or not, for me, yeah. for me, look, I think his performance was. Are we starting with you now? <laughs> look, I think his performance was was good. Here's the issue: the dialogue was so That's bad. No, it's bad. That's what it was I'm saying. So bad, and from what I've been hearing and, and reading, and again, this is all rumors or whatever, but. Apparently he was given the right to improvise, and it was allowed to be in the film. Yeah, and it doesn't seem like it worked out. Too the well. the restaurant scene, I heard that that yeah, was yeah, and I heard most, and I heard that was whether or not that's the case, I don't know. He was good in moments. Yeah, um, there were moments where his dialogue were just so bad it took me out of everything. Yeah. Sure. Um, the the best part about this movie is the relationship with him and Venom. 
The back and yeah, forth between the two of them is the best part I of the movie. I like their conversations. That was all I thought it was weird. Like, how does the monster know how to talk? Like, you know, he knows it's our like vernacular. It's like his conscious speak, He knows basically. our... It's, yeah. It's, it was but a strange... I, I mean, the, they go, he goes inside his body and he basically... He downloaded... They download the human's conscious yes. into their own... Yes. He becomes yeah, like, him. He can he access... Him. So that's why they... All of the symbiotes can... Once they get inside a human, they understand our language. They, they know everything that that person knows. Yes. But then there's a moment when he's on the phone with uh, Michelle Williams, and he's like, "Who is that?" Like you just said, you just said ten seconds ago, you know everything about him. Now you're asking, "Who is this?" Like, what? Is, I don't. Well, I, I gotta think about how long it's he's been in him for that long. It might take a minute for him to like fully get into his mind and understand. I guess. Like, that's that's a little nitpicky. And it was, like, I think, that, wasn't yeah. that right after he got back from the thing, or no? Or yeah, when he yes. was in his apartment. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Apartment, yeah. yeah. I mean, what do you what do you think about Tahari's um, performance? Well. The thing is, like, I, I like certain elements of it. Like, like I said, I didn't know about the improvising thing because yeah. that makes more sense than, like, somebody, you know, writing a lot of these things. Mm-hmm. But, um, <laughs> you know, it's just funny. Like you guys said, I can tell he cared so much about yeah. it. Yeah. Like, he he liked the property. He, he really so, like, liked it. I was like, man, like, he's giving a lot of effort into yeah. this performance. But, um, Unlike like, the, the restaurant scene was completely unnecessary like so bad i get it like they're trying to show how much this thing is affecting him like physically and it's like a parasite right like yeah. making him sick and act hallucinating but he became feral crazy he became feral which, which is, weird. is he became like an animal so which just didn't fit garbage, well, like an well that's i think that's what they were going for like the, because he was symbio- adjusting to him well yeah. the symbiote is like a, a wild animal yeah. like in our in our environment like they just want want to eat and yeah. i imagine the symbiotes on their home planet consume a lot more probably than yeah. a human does mm-hmm. on our earth compared to our body weight or whatever but for me like you already mentioned it i mean for me my favorite part is the relationship between venom and, and eddie brock mm-hmm. yeah. because like at first, I was like, okay, whatever. But then, like, it started to get better and better and better. And there's a lot of comedic moments, obviously. But for me, the thing where that what made that my favorite part about it was that when, um, when he's telling him like, oh, you know, I'm I'm a loser on my planet, just like you. I was like, oh, that's I like that. Like, that's pretty cool. Like, that answered a lot of questions. The reason kind of why yeah. Venom is well, first of all, against his leader or whatever, and then wants to stay with Eddie, and then wants to stay on planet Earth. And then Eddie Brock's like, well, like, you know, yesterday you were, you wanted to take, you know, just take our home planet over and what changed? And then he's like, you Venom hesitates for a little bit. He's like, you did Eddie. You made me change. So that means Venom's been like in his mind, like understanding Understanding, what human life is and what the um, planet is like, you know, and he realized, oh, you know, this planet's not so bad. This planet deserves to survive. And maybe we're the bad guys. I think where Venom had that transition was great. But, like, that's the best part about it, and there's not many other things that are good to really good about it, but that's the best thing about it to me, for yeah. sure. No, it, oh, nothing it, else. No, I, there <laughs> we'll, are, we'll get into that. There we'll, are, we'll, to me, we'll, there are, but, I mean, I'll, I'll acknowledge, like, I probably, I mean, I don't know, I haven't heard you guys' thoughts, honestly. I haven't watched your guys' review. I'm assuming you guys didn't like it, but I probably like it more than anybody here, but mm-hmm. I mean, I will acknowledge that it's not a good movie, like, yeah. Absolutely, it's not. So, in my opinion, yeah, it's. I mean, next topic we can probably talk about are some of the supporting characters. Like, let, let's oh, start yeah. with Riz Ahmed. Uh, Riz Ahmed's character. Oh God. I think. Uh, Just, I think no. uh, his, his character. He was, you know, teased as this big bad guy, yeah. and um, and then Riot got into him, and he kind of became this like nutball that didn't just really seem like he knew what he was doing and just kind of like cliche just the yeah, classic yeah, I like Riz Ahmed as humanity. an actor I love Riz Ahmed but yeah. Yeah. He, he was his character was have so you seen bad Nightcrawler? That's, that's, ex- that's exactly what I said in our review it's exactly what I said in our review so um, yeah I mean his character it was from the get go was just bad it was just very very oh, bad yeah, it, and it's, it's, you knew I everything mean, he was going to do from the start. I usually argue with people when they say, this no. per- this person's a cliche villain, and I bring up points to, to argue against that. You can't. But not for him. Yeah. He is. I heard, uh, it, it was like someone took this. Like, how many times have we seen, oh, the world is overpopulated, yes. yeah. and... I'm trying to save humanity. Yeah. How many times? Yeah. I, I thought about it. I would have much rather him been like, Maybe like his father was a scientist and used to do similar experiments and he got, became obsessed with that and wanted to do the same thing. Something like that. Not 
oh, the world's overpopulated and yeah. we're killing ourselves, you know? Like, and he just bonds seen himself so with this times. monster that he's never... Like, how do you know it would work? Well, he didn't have a choice. Yeah, I know, but the just... Monster. Well, well, he opened up he, the one... When the one when he opened up the one that killed uh, Jenny Slate... I didn't know Jenny Slate was in this movie. I didn't even... She's know, great. But I she's loved really her. good. I knew she was going to die immediately, but... Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but he was still in the room. Like, when he opened up that, that one that killed her, like, dude... He, Oh, that whole thing with the experiments and stuff was just... And I don't want to spend too much time on that, but that was all just, just nonsense. Well, and, and right, right, it seemed like... And I don't know how, how necessarily this is possible. Other Venom. Because they didn't called. explain it, but Riot was basically looking for mm-hmm. him the entire time. That's what it seemed like. And, well, which is, oh, which is a right. strange that was kind him, of huh? part of it all. Yeah, that was the, I the think lady. he was trying yeah. to find a way to get to his home planet. Which, that or maybe he was searching for Venom. I thought he was something. just looking for the rest of the. See now, I took it more as what Jacob said. He was trying to find a way back to his planet. He but said how, that. But like, how he did he sense that? that the other symbiotes were? But there. how did he? That's what I thought. Or yeah, like that. Maybe that's what it was. Mm-hmm. Or how did he know that Reza Ahmed's character? Because had, of the ship. But how did he know it was his? The life organization ship. But how does he know that it's? Well, all right. If you think about it, he so he got in that woman's world. body and the little girl's body, so he can assess everything that they're assessing. He can watch the TV That's, and okay. you know there figure you it out That's somehow. True. But I know what you're saying. It was like out of nowhere, really rushed. Yeah, like I like being, that too. But well, they like, showed up, right? Didn't they show up at the to to that crash site? Wasn't well, not yeah. him. So, he did. Oh no, he didn't. But, he didn't. But his workers did. Yeah. yeah. Well, but she. So but he was already. But, but Riot was already gone. Or no, Riot was in a different body and it transferred to a paramedic. Yeah, or whatever when they it was. crashed, Riot got out. Yes, Riot took over the paramedic. The, the woman's body and, and they right. car crashed it, and. No, because he took over the astronaut, then took transferred over, over to the paramedic. To yeah, the paramedic. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Yes. So, so he must. Yes. Have. I okay. thought it was weird at first that it w- that he was making his way across the country, but then I realized, okay, he is essentially he knows that this. I'm assuming he figured out. The life organization is where these people are coming from. Yeah. Into space, I need to figure out where that place is. Hence, how he got. That's to fair. Him. That's fair. I didn't. I personally yeah, don't I think, think right. he was going after Riz Ahmed's character. I think he got there and figured it out, or whatever you want to say. But his goal to me was to get to the life center. Stop trying to defend this movie to Brian. get back. In I'm not. Space. But I. But like I, I literally sat there for a while trying to figure out. How does this? No, how yeah. does this thing know he's getting? Right. He's gonna travel across the country, right. and then I kind of put it together. Oh, he's probably just trying to get back to the life. Well, center. off topic, real quick. The life tease from the movie Life of Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> was there a tease to it? Well, the life organization. People. Oh, life. That, was that the same organization? From we don't know. Movie? What if People life was that. a prequel to Venom? People thought that. I thought that. <laughs> like. The, what the, if the thing looks the same? It well, looks. We did talk it, about it, that it looks similar. When we, we life came out. Yeah. It looks similar, but yeah, I mean, uh, so, I never saw the life, and I immediately yeah, turned to him. And we go, were like, "Wait a minute, what?" <laughs> that, okay, that that's a coincidence. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so outside of that, I mean, uh, as far as let's let's go about the the look of all the symbiotes. I mean, um, Venom obviously looks looks good. I mean, yeah, he's um, he he looked good. The the visuals on on him, I didn't think the CG was terrible. No, I really didn't. Uh, Riot, I thought was th- everything with Riot was bad in my opinion. Looked the same uh, because the camera because c- as soon as Riot popped up, it was all action, yeah. and the camera work was horrible. It was just like big blurs. It was so hard to follow. The camera was yes. moving so fast. Yes, yes, yes. And it just it was so hard to pay attention. You want to see these two guys go at it, and we didn't really. get a chance to see that because yeah. one, it was too quick. They made it short, and two, the camera work just wasn't very good on it. I think the so, colors were too similar. Yes. Yeah, like a slate tell, gray to a which, black, yeah. and, and it was dark yeah. out. I and, couldn't tell which was which. I actually started just looking around the theater because I'm like, I can't watch this. I, like, I don't even know what's happening. I did like the fact that they they did they did explain why Riot was able to kind of transform into different things with like blades yeah. and stuff. Like he has that ability, whereas yeah. Venom doesn't. Okay, here's well, Venom the thing though. That, yeah. yeah, here's the thing that I noticed, and people were complaining about the most is that is literally what Carnage does. Well, yeah, but people thought he was going to be Carnage. It, yeah, I mean, well, he was originally Carnage in the script, and they switched it. Yeah, I know, but like, or I, I get Carnage yeah. is probably going to be like a super mass murderer, being that Woody Harrelson's character seems like that. Can we talk about but that real like, quick too? Real well, quick. let's save that for the end. Let's save that for the end. Yeah, but like, the whole time I'm seeing that, I'm thinking Carnage does the same exact things. Yeah, he even uses the axe weapon hands. Yeah, yeah. The the next one's going to be almost. Similar, he's just in a way. white. <laughs> yeah, although did you notice that he called right general? 
Yeah, well, he's their leader. Yeah. Yeah, and it's oh, like yeah. army rank. I got yeah. like a, yeah, it's like army. Rank. Immediately when I thought that, I kind of like went to like. Oh, Which makes me wonder off. what they look like on their planet. I think like are I they? Think they look, well, when he was blocks. like coming out and doing the little like puppet thingy. Whatever he would do, he I think that's look what they like look that. like. Yeah, yeah, but it's like like I've seen images of what them. do their they, bodies look like? That's they're what just I'm the weird kind of bodies. Weird, that's so weird. I think they can like yeah. shape shift or Webby not shape. Kinda... not turn into anything that's, they but want. They're but, like, fluid. They can they're, move around and yeah. make their face appear like that. So you know? weird. It's so weird. I mean, who knows what aliens look like? You know, they could be. That's very true. They're like that's just big blobs. Well, and what's interesting is that I was reading today that the original script actually had the beginning of the movie starting out on their home planet. That would have like, been cool. Which would have been a cool little tease. Yeah, but didn't they say they were on a comet? <clears throat> they yeah, were but, yeah, they were. But what makes them go on the comet? Maybe they're like, oh, our planet's dying. We're going to go somewhere else. Right. Or, he or no, Venom millions. said, you yeah. didn't find millions us. We were looking for you. Yes, right. exactly. Exactly. so they were yeah. like on some kind of mission millions themselves. Of but They must have been um, riding a, an asteroid yeah, yeah, to I Earth. Think, they were. Yeah. I think they took, they killed off their planet's resources. Probably. But here's the issue, like... That, I think that would have solved, like, that would have gave the movie so much more, like, oomph. And they could have given this movie 20 more minutes of screen time. And it would have been fine. Keith, it was an hour and, like, 37 minutes. I think it was just fine. <laughs> it was an hour. Like, I would have I would have much rather well, had 20 they, minutes of that. Not time to not make the movie better. better. Yeah. That's like, like, if, yeah. Listen, if this movie, this is what I was ultimately sitting here thinking. Like, if they would have stuck with the... Made it a horror movie. Yes, you know, with, that's what well, I was thinking. The it would have been pretty time. cool. Well, you know? it's not even just but being an R rated. I don't think the R rating had to. I don't think it needed to be. I don't think, think the R rating needed to be. I the whole I time was thinking R rated could have served it. Better, oh yeah, honestly. I would have. But the whole time I, I was so. thinking, if this was like dark, like New Mutants seemed like it was going to be, like that dark. Scary. Sony's scared to do that. I know, but I was like sitting the whole time. If this was dark, scary, this movie would be bad. Yes. Yeah. If it was a like well, even, it with, had no, even with the funny, it like, had elements of like that. life. It had if elements. It was, yes. If it would have been like that the whole movie, that tone, it would have been pretty cool. But then Venom's here cracking jokes and. Well, all, I know that I, uh, from I what I know, war. that's his character. Venom's like, from a, a what weirdo. I know, he's not yeah. funny. Though. Yes, he is. Venom no, it's is not. A, it's I not heard necessarily. Those lines were in the comics. The newer. It's, it's not. Newer, it's not necessarily that he's funny, but what he says results comes, to being. Well, funny. he's not trying to be funny yes, when he yes. says, you know, well, so yeah. many snacks, so little time. Like, yes. he's being that serious. Kind of stuff, yeah, but like, or like a turn of the wind. That was a big comic line. Like we got blasted on a reaction. So dumb from the trailer for saying something about that line. Just from the fans who love the who have the, well, the for property. me one of my big problems is like all right Venom looked good like I feel like they spent their time on you know the CGI and yeah, villain Venom. although his head looked really small. but you kept I feel that. like overall yeah, did, the <laughs> special effects were not that good like even the opening space scene it did not look yeah. good they spent and all I'm, their time on his costume. well the it was just Venom itself the, when yeah. when it was like coming into the atmosphere yeah. that that looked bad I it agree with bad. you I'm like you. all right yeah. here look. They only spent $100 million making this movie. Yes. Like, I understand it costs money, but nowadays there's no excuse. You have movies like Infinity War. looks absolutely perfect, 100% from bottom to end, from back to end, in my opinion. But, like, this movie, like, it looks really bad at You have points. some movies that are made for $12 million that look a lot better. That's than what this. I'm saying. And you spent like so much million. Million. Like, well, no. Look at uh, a, quiet a Quiet Place, The Aliens. They look amazing. That, mil- that movie was made for like $17 million. So what I'm million saying, like, I watched a thing on it today. $17 How long million have they been dollars. making a space shuttle flying magic. through space yeah. scenes? Like since the 80s? Yeah. Was, yeah. Even way before? And scenes in the 90s have looked better than that. Yeah. And it's like basic flying spaceship. So they did not spend any money on the special effects as far as... Like, it was all, on, it all like. on Venom. But Venom looked great. He but, did. Like, he the did. other special Remember they wouldn't show Venom. Remember they, in the first trailer, they wouldn't the even teaser, show The teaser, well, yeah, it was the initial teaser. Which is fine. Well, yeah, I think that it's kind of but people were like people. One more a positive for me before we go, like, the other, the second positive to me was I thought Michelle Williams and Tom Hardy had great chemistry. In the they did. I did not. But they did not use her enough. Well, here's the thing. You only get, like, five, ten right. minutes of it. I, the beginning of the movie, they had oh, great okay, chemistry. They, yes. they had but scenes. once they're at odds, not so much. But when they were a happy I, I, couple, I'm with you. I'm with you. I love that opening with scene with them together. But with after you. that, it was whatever. But they didn't use her enough. The see, beginning was. But great. they also used and her, her wrong way. And I love when you see Lady Venom when she shows up. Yeah. I thought that, that was, was kind of cool. cool. Yeah, that, was, that was that was shocking. Weird. I was not expecting that. That was cool. I like that. There's a Lady Venom in the comics. There is. Well, she's supposed to come one, become one, right? Her character comes one. Yeah. 
it's not necessarily bit, venom, but a little it's, bit of the suit stays. And with she her. becomes yeah. something else, yeah, yeah. which uh, probably happened. I but. felt like Michelle Williams, that character, could have been anybody. Uh, it didn't. Like, like, oh no, I loved her. Yes, that could have. And I oh, love Michelle Williams. I, no, I I agree, but she, to me, she was not given enough screen time. I don't think she was that into it personally. Well, because. Well, yeah, they probably. No, no, it's true. I I agree with that. She seemed to be kind of. It was just a job for her, but I'm just all I'm saying is when the movie first started and you saw them together. Sure. Because I didn't. We didn't see them together in the trailer. We saw them like arguing at odds. That's it. So I was surprised. I was like, oh wow, this is kind of cool. Like if you just made a movie where they were love interests, I thought they had good chemistry. Yeah, honestly. That opening scene when they were in the bed talking. Exactly. I believed it. Like I was like, oh, that's cool. The restaurant. Yeah, but other than like. My, the few positives that I mentioned, you know, it's not, oh. it's not a great film. <laughs> the only cliche thing they didn't do, which I really like, is they didn't make the boyfriend a jerk. That was oh, he was a nice guy. He was actually a he nice, was super nice, he was a nice guy. guy. He was like, yeah. nice yeah. And he said he was nice the whole time. I thought like, that guy was gonna eat the dust so hard, <laughs> yeah. but he's, he didn't he's deserve alive. To, he was no. a really nice guy. No, no. and Brian thought the cat was gonna die, but the cat was nowhere near death. Uh, I, I was like, <laughs> oh, how about the puppy the too? Neighbor. How about the, the neighbor? Hey, was no, get the puppy so, though. Hey, how has been a perfect DNA match for the puppy and Michelle Williams and Tom Hardy? Yeah, yeah. How convenient. I know that Brian's got something that he wants to talk about that he oh. his best part of the movie so i'm gonna let him kind of go <laughs> into this a little bit favorite part of the whole entire movie is when he was afraid of heights and he's on top of that building yeah his old his old uh his old employer yeah the, the new the station old new <laughs> station and then all of a sudden it cuts to the, in the elevator, the elevator and venom just calling him a pussy yeah. <laughs> that amazing. i was busting the whole in that theater laughing. yes 100 percent. that is yeah, that amazing. is venom's that's that is Venom. Like I feel like that's after watching the movie, I feel like that's Venom. Whether that's not He's the certain. comic character yeah, sure. or the whatever character they established. I feel like movie. that is the perfect. And I personally like that. Part. That I, I is. Too. I, yeah. I'm okay. Really? With that's you didn't the... really laugh. You didn't laugh. Because I was really disappointed with everything else going on. I think that's a, I think that's a dead Because I effect. busted out laughing and you was uh, no, I, I think that's thing, a dead like, effect. Just, you, one could argue, like, how does Venom know how to say that word? But yeah. the thing is, he understands American culture and everything he from just being got in here. Tom Hardy's head. But uh, he's yeah, downloading. But, wait, hold on. Have you seen Upgrade? No, but I've heard. I've, okay, I've heard those Watch Upgrade. You'll understand yeah. what they're trying to do. Uh, it's identical to what they're trying to do. Yeah. Upgrade, there's a... So, it's yeah. plugged into him and he learns everything. Exactly. That's Venom what plugged Venom's into doing. him and yeah. he learned everything. Somebody said they want the director to make the next one. Oh, he should. He, fuck yeah, he yeah. should. Sorry for my language, but he definitely should. I mean, this how's Venom doing? Person. I heard it did okay <laughs> opening weekend. Uh, like 80, 80 million. million. Are you it made, serious? No, it made over 200 million worldwide. Oh, no. they're getting a sequel. It's no, they're gonna not. Get a sequel. Dude, no, are they're you kidding me? Dude, no, it only has a $100 million budget. They're definitely getting a sequel. They would be. The fact it's not about the quality of the film. They're absolutely making it. It's the money. Dude, they're not gonna tease Carnage. Ruben Fleischer should never direct a movie ever again. He's not gonna direct a sequel. No, ever again. No, here's the Listen, thing. Ever. <laughs> it made two hundred million dollars opening weekend. It's gonna make at least four hundred million. Murad, who I, I'd like to get into because he sucks as a. Person. We're not getting into that. No, yeah, we're not. He's the do worst. That. It's gonna make at least four hundred million dollars worldwide. By the I time don't the know box if it'll off reach, off reach that. I think it's gonna hit a. Do you million honestly million. think they're gonna make a Venom movie and not have Carnage? No. Here's the thing. If the movie flopped, hell no. Yeah, but, but it's it made didn't. money. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. They're gonna make a sequel and. <laughs> I mean, we could talk about it'll that it'll have soon. probably a fifty percent drop this week. They need to get a new director ASAP. It'll, no, they absolutely. Do. They they need to get Hell a new yeah. director. They ASAP. need a new. Di- Here's the thing: the, the sequel could be great. It can be. I it could if, be. It great. depends on who they Dude, get. Here's the thing, though. This is going to be a situation where the studio just learns the wrong lesson. See, they think they've done everything right. Yeah, they that's so much the, money. Because so I don't know it, that they'll get a new director. I, yeah. They think they've... No, no, no. Oh, we did it! They we, better we, pay success. attention to the reviews. That's the thing. I don't, they have to, I I don't know if they to care. I need to cut Harrelson's hair at the end of that. That was... I hated that. I'm like, his hair he doesn't look like that. He looked like Lex Luthor. But, and it made but, me but, very but angry. But listen, listen, it, listen. listen. We, don't, we don't know what the character is like. He could uh, literally be... I don't care. A psychotic... 
Ga- he guy who acts like he's is 17. Is Cassidy's hair like that? He's no. A, no, no it's, hair it's, well, it's, sh- it's, it's not, not curly, it's though. Not the, oh, but he has Steve red hair. He looked like yeah. Carrot Top. Yeah, he looked like Carrot Top. He looked like Carrot Top. Yeah. Like top. Yeah. It was totally like that. He's in yeah. prison. Nobody wants to cut his hair. He's murder him. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell? Yeah, he's writing his name with blood. Like, his own blood. Yeah, his own blood. It's a welcome Eddie. Yeah. They set it up Why is he doing that? Because he's a serial killer, He's a maniac. That's the whole point. he got against Eddie Brock? Like, why is he... Because he's showing he's crazy. Look at his hair. I don't know, that was a weird thing to me. I don't know. Red hair yeah. poofing up like that. Oh, was that was crazy. such a... Yeah. Ugh. When I come back, yeah. uh, there's going to be carnage. I was like, okay. Right, well, me. it's... it's cle- to, come on. Like You've got to let the fans know what's going to happen. People are actually applauding. I'm like, oh, oh, God. Oh, they well, in our, in our theater, they weren't everybody in the theater, once that scene hit, they were going nuts. Yeah, I was like, okay. They were losing their mind because they knew what was happening. Yeah. I'm just sitting there like... We knew it was man. coming. Well, we 100% knew yeah. it was coming. Yeah. 100%. Because we knew Woody Harrelson was cast, and he yes. hadn't been in the movie. <laughs> yeah. All the way from that point. Yeah. Look, the, it was fine, but it was a little... It was a little <laughs> cheesy. Oh, the whole movie was cheesy. Oh, quite. Yeah. Quite. I, I guess was... it fits the rest of the movie, right? <laughs> it does. But fit. no, I like Woody Harrelson as Cletus Cassidy and as Carnage. But I, I can't say that... The scene was okay. I can't say that yet, just well, because... No, just, I'm just saying, like, as an actor, you know? I'm not saying based on that scene. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't say yeah. for the for a character, yeah, just off that one scene, like whether or not he's going to play well. Um, if Ruben Fleischer is back, I have a feeling it's not going to go well. Um, They're going to get a new director. I guarantee it. I'm, I'm kind of leaning with Keith here know. because they feel like they've done everything right. They think, they, they think they're successful. They think yeah, they like they, it, made, it made money. It did. Yeah. It but made we, a buck. All right. We've seen successful movies get a different director for the second one. Look at the Planet of the Ace franchise. I mean, I'm sure there's a reason, but they switched directors. Yeah. From first to second film, he so just like compared Planet of the Apes. Yeah, no, I'm, how do you feel? Because, because they switched directors. But that's Fox compared to Sony, man. Like Sony, and it's not a comic book property <laughs> that so, they can screw well, up. Like, you could argue that Fox they did everything movies. right. Planet of the Apes, first one was great, made money. Why not keep the same director? You know, I'm sure it was a scheduling conflict or something. It was. Like that. It was. But, um, <laughs> no, I look. These people running these companies aren't stupid. Some of them are, but. They're, they got to know. Look, all right. We got <laughs> no, lucky no, no, that no, this they don't know what they're made doing. good money. Let's, I mean, the reviews weren't good. Let's Look, get a great I, director. Look, I would love to see a sequel if, so it's much a dir- potential. if it's a different director. There's so much potential. With I will not be made. excited if, if Fleischer's back. No, me, I won't. Ne- honestly, I won't. me neither. I won't. Me neither. Should we do one positive, one negative? All right. Yeah, go ahead. Start us off. Okay, my positive, loved Venom's humor. That was by far my favorite part. Negative for me... I was pissed off that they didn't at least show the other symbi- symbiotes. Oh, yeah, they all killed them. They killed them like that. I the wanted to ones. see Scream. Yeah. The yeah. big, even if she would have just sense. turned into it for a second and then died, I would have been but fine with here, that. Here's the cool thing. We don't know if that if that's who they actually were. Just because their colors. Okay, either way. I know. I, know, I, t- I totally understand where you're coming from. Either totally way. That's it. what I was disappointed in. The fact that there was five of them and we ended up only seeing... Really, Venom. Too. But I, I'm kind of happy that they did because I didn't want it to be bloated. Well, I just wanted to see like maybe like them take over him for a second, yeah, change, and then die in the container. Yeah. Not so much just oh, it's inside me, plop, dead. Yeah. No, I understand. That those were mine. Um, main positive is the relationship between Venom and, and Eddie, and then big negative is the special effects. Like it took me out of the movie from the beginning, other than Venom. Yeah. Uh. Positive, Tom Hardy. Uh, negative, uh, what's his name? Uh, Rizamit. Rizamit, yeah. Just, uh, and I don't necessarily fault him, like I said, but just it, just bad writing. Yeah, you know? yeah. It, it's a product he of did the direction. Best could, I guess. But product of direction. Yeah. Uh, positive. Nice. Jake's negative. Positive <laughs> is uh, the relationship between Eddie Brock yeah. and Venom. Uh, negative, the, the rest of the movie. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to go straight down. <laughs> you know what? I, the, re- the rest of the movie. Yeah. I, I, the, re- yeah. the rest of the, uh, yeah. the other movie. And... And actually, uh, I said dialogue in our in our non spoiler review, but I'm gonna say the, the inability to use Michelle Williams at her finest because sure. she she was not she's in this world movie. Class actress. She was not in this I movie know. enough as she didn't she, she, she have been. win for she's been Manchester nominated like by the four Sierra, times. She was nominated. She got nominated. Yeah. yeah, she she was not in this movie enough as she should have been. And they did the Lois Lane effect at the end where they used her for a for a big thing, which I personally didn't like. But yeah. she could have been in this movie just as a love interest or. 
the ex love interest that was kind of helping him along with like she was just more yeah. in the aspect. So you should have seen him when um, we left. Uh, was not yeah. happy. Uh, yeah, uh, one, one thing we didn't talk about though is I want to talk on just for the next like minute or two mm-hmm. is the newsroom action scene. The one big scene with the smoke where he goes mask and Venom pops up against the oh, soldiers. Yeah. Did you guys like that scene? Like what? Uh, in the newsroom, uh, so where all the soldier, soldiers yeah. pop up. It was oh, the SWAT cool. team. Yeah, the SWAT no, team. That was cool. So I, I liked we, all, we all agree no, that, that was a good cool. scene. Yeah, that yeah, was, was a good scene. scene. Okay. Yeah. But it was, it was, probably, it was the, the best movie. action scene. Yeah, because it yeah. wasn't shaky camera. It was literally yeah. set on him just kind of doing his thing. Even though it was terrible. Yes. We didn't get a lot. That was awful. I didn't like that at all. But yeah, he took the with the gas can and kind of like I do love the ending when he's talking to Michelle Williams and like you don't know if the and then, and he pops up and he, yeah, yeah that was awesome yeah we, like we know that. he's yeah. there which is kind of yeah. cool so um, yeah so that's our uh, our spoiler breakdown of Venom uh, the latest uh, comic book movie from Sony starring Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy Michelle Williams and Riz Ahmed uh, it's in theaters right now obviously it made a buttload of money so you probably have seen it if you haven't go check it out uh, hopefully we didn't ruin the movie for you if you have not seen it shouldn't so, be watching sorry, it sorry yeah you should not be <laughs> listening to this so um, check us out on ApocalypseMovies.com, this YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to be doing plenty of spoiler breakdowns for all the big movies that are coming out over the next couple months, uh, as well as in future references as well. Um, movie reviews, trailer reactions, and a few other things are coming as well, Paddle on Podcast. Um, for Brian, for Jacob, for Keith, and myself, we can't thank you enough for joining us on our spoiler reaction. Um, head down to the comments, let us know what you thought of the movie. Uh, leave us some thoughts, uh, stuff you like, stuff you didn't like. Do you want to see a sequel? What do you want to see as far as Carnage and whatnot? Leave it down there. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, thank you for joining us today, and until next time, see you later.